Hi guys, this is your sister Karen in Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, I want to come to you with a, a follow-up vision concerning, um, let me say, it could be because I'm still in the learning process, you know, I'm still in the learning process concerning the 100 and for the 4,000 redeemed saints from the earth. And after this vision, I will do uh, another video reading out some biblical scripture concerning the 144,000 and a little bit of explanation of what's been laid on my heart. But I wanted to give this vision because it's a follow up from the vision that I had, that I posted, uh, and I've entitled the vision, Could This Be uh, the 144,000 with Superpower? Now, that vision have gone out so i'm doing the second one and i'm going to call it part two you know in the lines of could this be the hundred and forty four thousand with superpowers because a lot of brothers and sisters um the holy spirit have already downloaded this information years ago to them so the most high does not bombard me with things brothers and sisters it tells me what i need to know small amount at a time so as you you know for those of you who have been fellowshipping with me over the years you know that uh the the, the visions and dreams that i have that i share with you is about end time things end time destruction the coming of the most high you know the antichrist the mark of the beast and all these things zombies earthquake hurricane and all that but when it comes to the hundred and forty four thousand it's only recently that the Lord has now begun to open up my eyes concerning this because when I started this ministry in 2015, I had beautiful brothers and sisters when I was on Facebook and they used to say to me, Sister Karen, you are part of the 144,000. I had no idea. I know it's so cliche and you probably think, oh, you're a prophetess, you should know these things. But you've got to understand that training comes from the most high so when they were saying to me you know sister karen you are part of the hundred and forty four thousand and i'm saying uh, uh, uh that's not me and you know a beautiful sister in the lord she, she used to say to me sister karen have you had any visions about superpower like having this great power fighting demons or whatever helping out helping out i'm like no i've never ever had so when I share that vision concerning with myself, fully kitted out, Ephesians 6, breastplate of righteousness, everything shining, glowing, ready to go help out. And I share that. Now this vision that I'm going to share, I had it. This was the first, I must say, that this I'm going to share with you. I had it in 2019, October, November, something like that. But when I received this vision, brothers and sisters, I didn't know what to make of it and I think for me it's not a matter of disobedience but you know if I share something I want to have an understanding of it and when I had this vision I had I didn't I just thought okay 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 Lord okay and that was it I didn't link it to the hundred and forty four thousand nothing like that but now the most high yeah has begun to open up my understanding concerning who these group of people are okay so i'm going to share this vision again i'm going to say could this be all right could this be the hundred and forty four thousand so the vision went like this it appears that myself and two two other saints we were in I'm going to say it appears to be somewhere in a foreign country. It could be America, all right? But I know it wasn't Britain because of the house and all things are. And I remember the three of us, super speed. I mean, the speed that we were going was faster than Superman. This was a supernatural speed we were running at, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. And as we were running, it's like we're running down this boulevard, you know, and 
we knew exactly where we were going because we had the order to go and release amen we had the order to go and release the people so the, the two saints and myself uh, the two beloved of the lord and myself were running down this boulevard super speed so fast and in our hands were our keys now the keys that we had brothers and sisters these were massive you know like i don't know how big maybe the size of a plate so it had a key ring the size of a dinner plate and the massive key you now for a human to hold that it would take some strength you know but the, it was light to us it, it was nothing it was just like all in your normal car keys though it was so massive and big and each one of us, myself and the two other beloved in the Lord, had these keys as well. So we were running, oh my Lord, hallelujah. So we were running super speed down this boulevard to go like underneath a tunnel to release the people. And all of a sudden I heard somebody called my name. And when this person called my name, brothers and sisters, I stopped, I slowed down. And I look back and when I look back I saw uh, this person running towards me but they were running at human speed you know so I walked up to them and said what what are you doing here and the person said to me I've been following you I saw you running so fast and I've been following you and I wanted to come with you. And I'm like, uh, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Now at this point, when I was talking to, to this person to say, you know, it's okay to come with myself, the other two beloved, because they were running so fast, was at a distance, but they had super sharp air. It's like they could hear, it's not like, it's not like they could hear the conversation uh, that I was having with this person so they heard when this person said to me I want to come with you and I said yes you can and then they began to speak and I could hear them even though they were distance away and they were saying uh no they cannot come with us because they don't have a key so I then looked in the person's hands and I said where's your key because you, you need a key to come with us and I said, you know, I don't have a key, but I really want to come with you because I really want to help out and, you know, do whatever you're going to do. So these two beloved were hearing the conversation and they were saying, no, 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 this person cannot come. They cannot come. They need a key because the key was given to us by the Holy, by the Holy Spirit, by the Most High. Yeah, he gave us a key. So... I began to petition. I began to petition on behalf of this person why this person should come to me. So I said to the two other saints, it's okay. They can come with us. It's absolutely fine. We will protect them. You, you both have a key. I have a key. Okay, this person don't have a key, but he wants, you know, they want to help out. So um, it's fine. And the two other saints were so adamant, they were like, no, he's not coming. You know, they're not coming with us because they need a key to open what we need to open. And I was like, no, 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 this person is coming with me. I've got my keys. I will protect them. And the other two saints, <laughs> they basically gave up on me like, oh, all right, Carrie Ann, if you want them to come, then that's fine. So I began to run super speed, but when I run, when I run, I run, run, I can speak. When I run off, I realized that this person didn't have the speed that myself and the two other saints had. So I had to slow down. And when I was slowing down, the two other saints were like, carry on, come on, we've got to go. Because we had a time space to release these people. And they were like, Sister Karen, come on, please, we've got to go. And I'm like, I'm coming, I'm helping this person to catch up with us. So I slowed down and, and I said to the person, right, you've got to run as fast as you can. As, and, he said, and the person said to me, 
carry i will i will run as fast as my as i can to catch up with you and i said okay brothers and sisters imagine you know how fast you say bolt is as a human being right imagine you saying bolt running the hundred meter at that speed as a human so this person was running well not as fast as Bolt, but I'm just using Bolt as a um, the fastest man in the world. So imagine the fastest human running at that speed, right? So his speed was one footstep of mine. So he, this person was running with all their might, all their strength, giving it everything, brothers and sisters. And his speed was one footstep. So when I took one step, I was in front and I was even running and then he got so tired and when he got tired brothers and sisters I didn't realize that he stopped and when he stopped I looked beside me and realized that this person wasn't there so I turned around to see what's going on brothers and sisters hallelujah when I turned around to see where this person is at this point the two other saints was they were they were way off and they were calling me sister Karen, come on we've got to go and i'm like i'm coming i'm coming i'm helping this person to catch up but by the time i turned around brothers and sisters this person was so tired but not only was this person was tired he was shot when i began to look all around me because this wasn't there when I began to look all around me brothers and sisters I saw fallen angels human form like security officers police soldiers and all of that but their guns were futuristic is not it was even gunshot bullets that was coming out of their guns it was more of um uh what do you call it i'm gonna use star wars that bean you know um yeah yeah i can't describe it but it was it was so futuristic and it was blue light but it was representation of a gunshot all right but instead of a bullet coming out it was more of a of a shooting beam and all of these fallen angels had it. And they were just shooting people all over the place. And I remember this person got shot. They got shot, brothers and sisters, and they fell. And when they got shot, I shouted out to the two other saints, saying, slow down, slow down. Uh, this person is shot. And they were like, oh, Carrie Ann, come on, we've got to go. We've got this time limit that we've got to work in. And I'm like, please please you know this person is shot you know we've got to help so the two saints in a jiffy i don't even know it's like by the time i said you've got to help they were right beside me it was amazing the speed you know they were just right there so i was over this person and brothers and sisters the wound that he got from these fallen angel laser beam was horrific yeah it was very graphic what i saw in this vision with this person lying down there and when i was there i was like right you know need to get him to a hospital and then the two other saints they said to me look we cannot save him because the, the wound that he had or have is so severe you know it is so severe and they were like and i and i said to them look i cannot leave I have to bring this person to the hospital. And as I mentioned the word hospital, brothers and sisters, I don't know where this ambulance came from. And when the ambulance came, the <coughs> angel of the Most High Yah came out this ambulance. And when he came, he saw the person on the floor and he, he actually said to me, you know, you can go and do what you have to do. And I was like, no, I'm not leaving him. And the two saints were like, Sister Carrie, and you know, time is running out. We've got to go. So at this point, I said, you know what? Here's my key. This massive key that I had. I said, here it is. Just take it and you two can go. 
and the relax is Karen, you know that we cannot live without you. You are part of the puzzle. They said, if we, even if we go to release, we need three keys. And I were like, well, you have my key. And they were like, no. They said, you have to be there. I said, without you, we cannot open up whatever we need to open up. So I said to the two saints, I said, okay, let me at least go with this person to the hospital and make sure that they're okay. So it happened that we all went into this um, ambulance, brothers and sisters. So the angel took up this person and put him on the stretcher and brought him in the ambulance. As soon as we're in the ambulance, brothers and sisters, I don't, I don't even know what happened, but it was like we were transported to this amazing, beautiful hospital. When I walked in the hospital, brothers and sisters, it was so bright. Everything was white. You know, like my head wrap. It was white and glistening. You know, even the nurses and the doctors, everybody was just ooh, they were like glowing, you know. And I remember one of the doctors came up to me and they said, um, we've operated. We've operated on this person and they're in the next room. So I went in the next room and the two saints, the two beloved, was with me as well. And when we went into the room, I saw the person on the bed and um, they were comfortable, you know, they were comfortable. I cannot remember if they passed away or if they were still alive. I, I just that part, I just cannot remember. But I knew that the person was OK. And one of the beloved held my hands and said to me, Carrie, we've got to go now. We, we, we must go. And then I said, yes, I'm ready. And all the time, all the three of us, we had this key in our hands. And we went out of this beautiful hospital. And we were just super speed, like so fast, brothers and sisters, down the road. And then I came out the vision. Obviously, I had this vision. And like I said, in 2019, October, I've never shared it publicly because I didn't understand it. But now the Most High is opening up my understanding concerning the 144,000. Now, if this vision represents the 144,000, then, you know, this group of people are going to have the ability to run fast, the ability to... Uh, let Jesus appear and disappear, something like that. I think that I think that we'll have that ability, brothers and sisters. I re I really do think they're gonna have that. And equally, their senses is gonna be heightened and sharpened because those two beloved was way ahead of me. Like what they could hear the conversation, they heard everything. We were communicating back and forth. And like I said, by the time I said, you know, we need to get him to the hospital, you know, they were there. They were just right there in front of me. So, wow. It was amazing. That vision was so amazing. So, I wanted to share it because, like I say, the Most High is opening up my understanding concerning the 144,000. And, you know... In my heart, in my heart, I believe that this vision, I don't know, this vision could be a representation of the 144,000 and the Most High is showing me that this group of people is going to be so special. They're going to be so special, brothers and sisters. Their power, because you've got to remember that, <coughs> sorry. You've got to remember, brothers and sisters, that the Antichrist is going to be given supernatural powers. Right? The Antichrist will be given supernatural powers by Satan. And the normal so-called draw block will be able to fight him. And equally, the two witnesses, I'm going to do a video on that at some point. The two witnesses that the Most High will release in the earth. 
they're going to have powers calling down lightning from the sky, fire, you know, anybody stand up before them, they know the word of the out of their mouth will kill them. This is the power of the most high. So can you imagine the 144,000 that oh the Lord is just going to place them and leave them? No. They will have supernatural power. And I've heard a lot of brothers and sisters and because it's because it's my lack of understanding concerning this group and they use, as I said, they used to say to me, Carrie Ann, I had this vision, superpower, and I'm like, in my heart, we're thinking, because oh, I didn't understand. But now that the Lord is opening up my understanding about this group of people, I believe that they're very close. I want to read the scripture before I say anything else on it. I'm going to do another video because this is, this is going on a little bit. So I'm going to do another video after this. I'm going to call it Paul 3 reading from the bible concerning this special group of people so i wanted to come and share that vision with you um with could this be the hundred and forty four thousand with superpower okay uh so be bold be strong be courageous okay walk with yah just like enoch all praises all praises to the most high yah who lives above the heavens so god eternally bless you i love you all and i will see you soon someday in glory in jesus christ's precious holy name amen and amen amen blessings amen